a misconception that I used to believe, and I'm sure I'm not the only one. Well, there's two of them. One of them is that when we read the kingdom of heaven and the word of God, a lot of times we think of like going into heaven, going to heaven, but that's not what they're talking about. Because in the word of God, it says that the kingdom of heaven is within you. He even goes on to say that the kingdom of heaven is not about meat or drink, but it's about righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. So when they come across scriptures and they say, you know, be not deceived, no drunkard, no adulteress, no this, no that, will enter into the kingdom of heaven. He's not talking about actually going to a place. What he's saying is, is that you being a child of God, if you don't align your thinking with the kingdom of heaven and the order of heaven, you will never enjoy peace, righteousness, and joy in the Holy Spirit. You'll never taste it. You will be saved. You'll make it into heaven just by as one passing through fire, but you ain't ever gonna see none of that heaven kingdom life in you on the earth. It will never happen if your thinking does not change. Well, what about the behavior? I've said it many times and I will say it again. If you live wrong, I would put money on it. I mean, all the way down to the last penny. If there is a believer that is living wrong, I guarantee if you pull them aside, they believe wrong. Ask them any question concerning their salvation, they could not tell you. That's why the word of God says that my people go into captivity, not because of sin, but because of ignorance. It is the lack of knowledge. They don't know who they are. They don't know what they've been saved from. They don't know what they have been brought to. And so because of this ignorance, they completely walk contrary to who they are in God. They continue to plant seeds in the world system. And if you plant their seeds, you will reap their fruit, child of God or not. And if you don't know who you are, you will continue to behave like who you're not. So basically, if you want to see this life in God, there is going to have to be a transformation of the mind that takes place. And the only way that that transformation comes is by beholding Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit. Grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now, another misconception that I had that I just recently, this year, got a revelation of, and it just like totally blew my head back. I was like, wait a minute, Lord. <laughs> oh my goodness, the rapture, the rapture, the rapture. Now I know, we have heard it, that you know, when the rapture happens, and, and a lot of it is based on the behavior of people. The, get your house in order, get your life in order, you know, the rapture, the rapture. And I always thought it was based on behavior, but we know that we are saved by grace through faith, and this is not of ourselves. It is the free gift of God. The rapture is no more than the redemption of the body. <laughs> so if I have received Christ, now I have the life of God within me, right? The redemption of my body comes along with the salvation of my spirit and soul. It's not separate. So this idea of people getting their lives together to make it into heaven is false. The rapture or the redemption of your body is the side dish to the entree. It all is included in the meal. So I hope that that helps you because that totally helped me.